wood graining can be made by putting paint onto a surface and then running a wood graining rubber tool through it to create the effect of heartwood. Okay, so this is the, uh, the glazed panel um, and I've prepared a, a graining colour which we'll now put onto that. We put a fairly even coat all over the, the panel to start with and usually brush in the same direction that you're going to be graining. Okay, so the first tool we use is a rocking grainer and that establishes a heart grain. And just use that in a rocking motion in one sweep like that. And I use the, the straight grainer just to put in the grain either side of the heart grain. And that has varying teeth. So if we use the thicker end, we get a much broader grain And that's the sort of grain we tend to use on the bigger stage like the Olivier because it's, you have to have that sense of distance. Um, the smaller teeth, which you can use on that side, as you can see, there's much narrower grain. If we're painting this for the Olivier Theatre, we probably leave that as it is. If we're doing a slightly more refined technique, which you might use in the Cotter's Low, you might use a softening brush just to give that a, a softer look. So you just notice, I pull that across there and you just get the, the detail in the centre here. So that'll probably need about half an hour to dry. We're going to put another process on top of that, which is a, a Van Dyke glaze, and we'll come to that a bit later. So again, it's the same, same process. So putting the grainy colour on first. So I'll use the straight grainer. We'll get a variety of grain through the panel. And another brush we use as traditional wood graining brush is a flogger. Now this, again, will be used in a smaller theatre uh, like the Cottesloe, where the audience is much closer, and this gives a more authentic feel to the, the wood graining. Um, now I might have to turn this panel round. So the way we use this is we work up, up the length of the grain and do this patting motion soften it down with a softening brush. If I dry that with a hairdryer, and then we can put the glaze on so you can see the glaze. Now that the, uh, the grain is dry, I'm going to put a, a Van Dyke glaze. That's Van Dyke powder mixed with emulsion glaze to give the final surface. As you can see, that gives the, uh, the grain a nice sense of depth. 